Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I am calling all new fasters. I want to show you how to master this amazing healing tool. So if you are new to my channel, just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I want to not only teach you about fasting, but I hope I inspire you to live the healthiest life possible because you're a crazy miracle. You were born in a ridiculous self-healing machine. It's just that nobody ever taught you how to use it. So when we see people first come to fasting, a lot of times hunger shows up and negative symptoms show up. And I'm gonna show you the hacks on this video on how to overcome those two things. To a long fast one day, your blood sugar going up and down. We're in it together. First, before I jump into my favorite fasting hacks, and yes, you see food here, so get ready because this is gonna excite you. I wanna let you know that Fast Like a Girl is out and ready for pre-order. I'm super excited to get this book into every woman's hand, and men, I didn't leave you out of it. I gotta tell you, the first section of this book, you could just thrive under, with and the knowledge, understanding the principles of fasting. And if you have women in your life, this is even better, you can do a little book study. So Fast Like a Girl's out, and I did a free video course because I hate that it, we all have to wait for the book. So if you want the free video course and you wanna pre-order the book, just put pre-order in your comments and my team will send you a link and you can order the book and you can get the free course and you can be on your way. So with that in mind, let's talk about overcoming the first hurdle when we first start to fast, hunger. I always feel like hunger is the elephant in the fasting room. It's like, what are we gonna do when we get hungry? So let me explain a scenario that I have seen hundreds of thousands of times. Maybe you have been eating all day. You get up, you have your cup of coffee, you have your, your donut, your bowl of oatmeal, your cereal, um, because you were taught that breakfast was the most important meal of the day, which by the way, there's no evidence of that. I can't find it, I've been looking. And then you were taught if you eat every couple of hours, you'll speed up your metabolism. That only works when you're dealing with one macronutrient protein. But for the most part, eating first thing in the morning, eating every couple of hours is a recipe for putting on weight. So all of a sudden you get frustrated and you're like, well, I, I wanna learn how to do this differently. And you hear about intermittent fasting. So you decide to intermittent fast. The first couple days you try it, you got headaches, you're dizzy, you're hungry, you're looking at your friends that told you about fasting and you're thinking, no way, they have to be insane. Fasting must work for them, not for me. And what I wanna tell you is fasting works for everybody. It's like sleep, sleep is healing, fasting is healing. So the hacks I'm gonna show you here are bridges to get you to be able to fast effortlessly. And in Fast Like a Girl, I talk about six different fasts. So it's everything from a 13 hour fast all the way up to a 72 hour fast. And I show women how to time that around her hormones. But what I want you to know for this video is the first place I want you to go if you want to lose weight with fasting, if you want the mental clarity that fasting can give you, all the incredible benefits, is instead of eating breakfast, instead of eating two hours every couple of hours, you're gonna start to think about compressing your eating window. I usually recommend you start, just push your breakfast back an hour. In Fast Like a Girl, I have a whole pre-reset that you can do that will prepare you for fasting. So that's coming, stay tuned. So you're gonna go ahead and, and compress your eating window, start to push your breakfast back an hour. Now, what do you do if you get hungry in that hour? And you're like, I listened to this crazy doctor on YouTube. What am I doing? I'm listening to a doctor on YouTube. Why am I doing this? And you're like second guessing your fasting behavior. Well, what the research shows is that when we can take a fasted snack and push our fast a little longer, that we still get all the metabolic changes, all the metabolic desires that we're looking for with fasting. We can still lose weight. We can still bring down glucose. We can still bring down insulin when we use these fasted snacks to help as a support, like, in like a crutch that allows us to go longer with fasting. There's one, one asterisk to this, and that's that the fasted stack has to be mostly fat. So what do we do? Well, I'm gonna tell you my very favorite fasted snack. I, ha I say this all the time. 
I have, I probably should invest in this company, but I have no affiliation with this company whatsoever. I just love, love, love keto cups as a fasted snack to be able to let us go a couple of hours longer. And what's so powerful about a keto cup is it's really 100% of a fat bomb. So let's say, let's use an example. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and you're hungry and you're trying to go to noon. And you're like, this is ridiculous. I'm not gonna do that. Grab yourself a keto cup or two, cause they're pure fat and eat a keto cup. Two things are gonna happen. It has MCT oil in it. So it's gonna move you into this fat burning place a lot quicker. And with, when you get in there, you're gonna get ketones that are gonna start to turn off the hunger hormone. So I have done two, maybe three at times when I wanna push into a longer fast, love keto cups. Second favorite fasted snack is nut butter. Now we got a couple little bit of, a, of an issue with nut butter because the oxalates and the lectins. So I would say stay away from almond butter, but do a scoop of pecan butter or walnut butter. These are gonna be lower in lectins and oxalates for those of you that have any kind of gut dysbiosis. Raw is best because there's enzymes in it that are gonna help you break it down. And so one scoop, I've even done in a fasted window for a fasted snack, I'll just do a scoop of nut butter and maybe put a little ghee on it right on my spoon like a fat bomb. You could do that and you would not pull yourself out of a fasted state. Now, what I'm gonna hear a lot of you say is, well, what about the protein for those experts out there that are watching this? What about the protein? Won't that pull me out of autophagy? If you're new to fasting, I want you to have one goal. And that goal is to get into ketosis. That's it. Then we can go into autophagy. Then we can go into dopamine reset. Then we can go after a lot of stored sugar. But the, this video is about that beginner that's trying to make that leap from eating all day into the fasting window. So a scoop of nut butter with a little bit of ghee falls into the fasted snack category. Okay, avocado. Second favorite or third favorite fasted snack. You could just cut it in half, put some sea salt on it. I'm a fan of Redmond sea salt. That is the cleanest sea salt out there without plastics in it. So have an avocado and then push on through another couple hours. Bone broth. Bone broth is another one. Warm up some bone broth and have some bone broth. Pick which one. Now you wouldn't do all of these. The idea is to just do a little bit it's not to do a full fat meal, but just a little bit to be able to get yourself to that longer couple of more hours until you have yourself an official meal. So those are the fasted snacks. The last thing I'll tell you is a lot of MCT oil is working really well for people in their coffee to help them get ketones, to help them move over into their, their fat burning state, to help with the, fat, the fasting window and this fat burning window. So I love MCT oil. I actually prefer it over coconut oil because you're not gonna see the spike in cholesterol as much. Last thing I wanna tell you, when you get to that point, that all was for hunger. But what do you do when you get to that point where you're like detoxing because fasting is a form of detox and your brain is kind of full and you're, you're not sure you can go much longer and you've still done all the fasted snacks. This is where I promise you, and you guys that have been around with me for a while, please put it in the comments. I promise you take some minerals, put it in some water, adding in sodium, adding in magnesium and potassium. An element has done an amazing job with some flavored minerals. Put it in your drink and drink that and watch how you feel. These hacks right here, I kid you not, are the hacks that help you go from eating all day to fasting 24 hours, 48 hours. You can do it because your body was meant to do it. You just trained it to eat all day. Now you're gonna train it to fast and these are your training wheels. So as always, those of you that are experts, even though I said this was a beginner video, if you are an expert faster and you've used these, please tell it in the comments so the community can know if these have worked for you. Please go and get yourself some element, get yourself some fasted snacks, and make sure that you don't give up on fasting because it is the most amazing way to heal yourself. So excited to share this video with you. Pre-order Fast Like a Girl. 
We are going to rally around this book. I have so much support from so many women trying to get this book out into the world because this is what women need is to learn how to time everything to our hormones. In Fast Like a Girl, I'm gonna show you how to time your food and how to time your fast to your hormones. Doesn't matter what age you are. It is so freaking cool. Can't wait to get this book to you. Just put pre-order in the comments. And I hope you discover the amazing, amazing miracle that your body is designed to be. Hope that helps.